Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoying the rest of your day. Want to talk about some NFL news between the NFC AFC Championship games. San Francisco going up against the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game. 3 o'clock Sunday on Fox. Meanwhile, at 6.30, you have the AFC Championship game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs on CBS. So, my predictions... I got San Francisco winning this one over the Philadelphia Eagles. Even though Philadelphia, according to Caesar Sportsbook, they're in a two, they're a two and a half point favorites to win that game. And even though you can say Philly, I mean, look, Philly offensively, they're third in points per game. They're fifth in rushing. They're ninth in passing. As for San Francisco, offensively, they're sixth in points per game, seventh in rushing but 13th and passing. But I like the 49ers because of their defense. They have the best defense in the NFL. They're number one in team defense. Philly is eight. However, Philly does have the number one passing defense. San Francisco is 21. But San Francisco is number two in rushing defense. Philly is 17th. I do think Kyle Shanahan is going to put Brock Purdy in a position to succeed. That is... You're going to have to incorporate the running game more. And if you're Brock Purdy, just take care of the football. Take what the defense is giving you. Um, don't put the ball in harm's way. Yes, it's okay to take chances, but don't take dumb chances. That's going to cost the team a win. I think Brock Purdy can get the job done. I think they will win. Because of their defense, like I said, I think D'Amico Ryans, the defensive coordinator of the San Francisco 49ers, who, by the way, should be looked at for a head coach, will do a good job game planning against the Philadelphia Eagles offense. And that is you take away their running game, because as I said, Philly, in terms of rushing offense, they're fifth in the NFL. And it's because in large part of Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders, who both of them are in the Pro Bowl, you're going to have to keep Jalen Hurts in the pocket. If you keep Jalen Hurts in the pocket, if you put pressure in him in the pocket, and if you take away the running game, as well as his ability to go outside the pocket, then if you're Philly, I'm sorry, if you're San Francisco, you should win. You're doing your job containing Jalen Hurts. Keep him in the pocket. I am concerned about San Francisco's secondary going up against the Eagles wide receivers, particularly with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. So I think the best chance for San Francisco, you take away Philly's running game and you keep Jalen Hurts in the pocket. You take away the read option with Hurts and Sanders. And if you do that, I think San Francisco has more than a good enough chance to win. As far offensively, Kyle Shanahan cannot do any dumb. He better not screw it up when it comes to play calling in pivotal situations and clock management. Because that's been the knock on Kyle Shanahan. Clock management in pivotal situations. The Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs a few years ago. And then before that, the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. When he was the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, 28-3. So, Kyle Shanahan needs to understand what is our identity, what is our specialty, what is that we do best. And if San Francisco can continuously run the football, and if Brock Purdy can just take care of the football, just keep that going. Don't switch it up. Don't screw it up, Kyle. That's all I'm asking you to do. So, I got San Fran winning this one 20-19. Now... As it pertains to the AFC Championship game between the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, the Bengals last year in the AFC Championship game at Arrowhead against the Kansas City Chiefs came back from like an 18-point deficit and beat the Kansas City Chiefs 27-24 to in overtime. We saw Joe Burrow go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Patrick Mahomes in a game of that magnitude and won. Now, a lot of people argue... Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL. And you can make that argument because Patrick Mahomes 
Look at what he's done in the past five years as a starter. I believe he's going to win his second MVP because he leads the NFL in passing yards, passing touchdowns. Look at what he's done this season, especially without Tyreek Hill. But I do think you can make an argument for Joe Burrow as the best quarterback. Now, some people have, a lot of people have Joe Burrow as the second best quarterback in the NFL um, because of what he did against Joe Burrow. Oh, I'm sorry, against Josh Allen last week against Buffalo. And I still think Josh Allen is a great quarterback, don't get me wrong. But Joe Burrow is obviously better than Josh Allen. But I think Joe Burrow can be better. I believe he will be better than Patrick Mahomes. He is 3-0 and going up against Mahomes. If there's any quarterback that has a chance of beating the Kansas City Chiefs, it's Joe Burrow. Doesn't matter if the game is on the road, home, regardless of the circumstances, he has that supreme swagger and confidence. And Cincinnati's offense is right up there with Kansas City. Even though Kansas City is number one in passing offense, they're number one in team offense, they're number one in points per game. But since he's in the top 10 as far as passing, team offense, and points per game, Cincinnati is seventh in passing offense, eighth in team defense, seventh in points per game. And if you look at their defenses, Cincinnati team defense, they're top five. Kansas City is like 16th. Cincinnati has a slightly better passing defense. They're ranked 16th. Kansas City is 19th. But running def rushing defense, both of them are in the top 10. Kansas City is 8th. Cincinnati is 5. Now, according to Caesar Sportsbook, I'm just reading this right here from CBSSports.com. Caesar Sportsbook lists the Chiefs as a one-point favorites in the AFC, champ in the AFC Championship game. And I think Caesar Sportsbook is going to be disappointed yet again because I think the Bengals are going to win this one. And I think the Bengals are going to win 31 to 30. And I think they're going to put a lot of pressure on Patrick Mahomes, especially with that ankle injury. Now, looking at the press conference and looking how Pat, the way Patrick Mahomes has practiced, he seems fine. The ankle seems fine. It seems like he's ready to go. But I thought think the Bengals, they're going to put a lot of pressure on him. And I think that Joe Burrow, no matter what, regardless of the circumstances, is going to find a way to get the job done. And we're going to see Cincinnati in the Super Bowl. And I think it's going to come down to a late game-winning field goal or a late game-winning touchdown, whether if it's in the fourth quarter or overtime. But nevertheless, I have the Bengals 31-30. I think Cincinnati's defense are going to make some key plays to put pressure on Mahomes and that Chiefs offense. And I think Eli Apple may do something crazy or spectacular for a court, for a cornerback that has been burned and criticized a lot on social media. Believe it or not, I actually think Eli Apple is going to make a key play or two in the AFC Championship game. Mark my words on that. You can laugh at me all you want, but I actually do think it will come into fruition. And I do think with Andy Reid, and I love Andy Reid, but if I'm going to talk about Kyle Shanahan with his play calls and clock management situations, the same thing could be said about Andy Reid. Because we've seen it before in Philadelphia and Kansas City. So I'm going to go with the Bengals 31 to 30 again with San Francisco, Philadelphia 20 to 19. Those are my thoughts. Those are my predictions. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Who do you have winning the NFC and AFC championship game? Do you think that Burrow, if he beats Mahomes again, is now considered the best quarterback in the NFL? Do you think that San Francisco should move on from Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo if Brock Purdy can get the job done, and also a lot more. Anyways, your boy Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoying the rest of your day, and God bless.